A story this week in Rolling Stone really shed light on just how deep these divisions are. The headline reads, quote, anti-vaxxers are trying to push around the league, and it's working. Joining me now, Matt Sullivan, sports reporter who wrote that story. He's also the author of Can't Knock the Hustle. Not Jay-Z song. No, no, no. This is a book. <laughs> uh, inside the season of protest, pandemic, and progress with the Brooklyn Nets superstars of tomorrow. Matt, thanks for your time, buddy. Uh, th that, that last part of your headline is really interesting. Explain, explain how the anti-vax players are, are, are pushing around the league and, and why it seems to be working. So the NBA told me on Thursday night that it has now passed the conservative NFL with 95% of players vaccinated. But my reporting for Rolling Stone suggests that vaccine-denying holdouts still make up this sort of secret society of straight-up anti-vaxxers. The family of Kyrie Irving, the Nets superstar here in Brooklyn, who once said the earth was flat, which it isn't. Uh, they're out here denying that the vaccine has worked, which it has. They're talking about, quote, Dr. Falsy, another player, the proudly unvaccinated Jonathan Isaac, he was trying to explain to me that masks don't work. That was a new one. And then there's this conspiracy theory about Moderna mind control, which is spread to several locker rooms. This comes down, Craig, to the NBA Players Union, which is really one of the most powerful unions in America. Their stance on a vaccine mandate is non-starter. So the vaccine deniers, in many ways, are setting the agenda here. Right now, San Francisco and, and New York City um, requiring athletes indoors requiring them to be vaccinated. We've seen some hesitancy on, on vaccinations uh, from, you mentioned Kyrie Irving of the Nets, but you've also got Golden State Warriors player, got Andrew Wiggins. Um, why, why can't the NBA, explain why the NBA can't just mandate a vaccination policy? Well, it's really a, a collective bargaining labor issue, and the NBA is backed in a corner. I mean, here's America's most progressive sports league, uh, only getting bailed out by America's most progressive cities. And so the league finds itself in a real almost race against time and these conspiracy theories to get players vaxxed in time for opening night. I mean, we're only talking about 30 or so players at this point, but I think the big questions that the NBA can answer uh, with its power, its limited power, are will vaccinated players almost guilt trip their teammates into literally taking one for the team? Uh, will the NBA's new COVID rules which it has a little power over, a little wiggle room, will they make the lifestyles of the rich and famous who are unvaccinated so uncomfortable that they almost give in to the shot? Or will it take a completely preventable outbreak, a superstar, super spreader event, if you will, to force some sort of executive action here? Matt, thank you. Thank you for, for your insight. Enjoyed it. I want you to come back at some point. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, right now, Appreciate though, we you. need to get...